Just got to watch who we're around. Speaking of watching people you're around, um, people are talking about DJ Envy over at um, Power 106. Is it Power 106 or Power 105? I don't know. It's the Breakfast Club. I don't know what the radio number call letters are. A lot of people are talking about the situation with um, DJ Envy getting caught up and there was a real estate scandal going on and one of his real estate partners went to jail and people are talking about Envy could possibly be next. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. I don't want to see Envy go to jail. I don't think Envy knew the severity of the scam. I don't think Envy was trying to scam. I'm not trying to put the cape over Envy. I don't, but I don't, I don't think Envy was genuinely trying to scam. But the thing is, Envy, here's the thing. Envy would be considered a square. And you gotta watch, look, square niggas, square dudes. <sighs> You got to watch it when you're trying to get involved with street niggas. Envy got involved with some dudes who was in prison. These are some street dudes. You don't... If you a square dude, don't fuck around over on that side of the fence, man. You dig? Envy's out here dealing with some street dudes, and Envy don't really know what it is out here on that other side. Envy, from what I understand, first of all, Envy is non-FBA. Right? His family's from Grenada or something like that. Right? And his dad was a cop. So Envy is game goofy at, when it comes to some shit like that. Again, that's why I don't think Envy, I don't think Envy, I don't think he knew it was a scam. I really don't. I don't think Envy knew it was a scam. I just think Envy was being game goofy and then these dudes finessed him into being the face of it. They went and got somebody legit. You got some street dudes who knew they couldn't get any kind of legitimacy because they knew in the streets people could smell them and see them from a mile away. That's why Joe Button, who has street smarts, the minute um, um, Envy presented that whole shit to Button, Button called it out immediately. He's like, man, that's a Ponzi scheme and your ass going to jail. No. No thank you. Immediately. And let me tell you something. I've seen, have you seen the videos of Envy and them dudes? If any nigga with any street smart, you can look at that and smell the finesse. I mean, the finesse is all in there. The vibe, the energy looks like a finesse when you look at these videos. They're going to these little dilapidated houses. Morning, guys. This is DJ. This is DJ Envy. I got my partner Caesar, and the Caesar guy is always in the cut with a look on his face, like I ain't trying to get too much camera time. The big old fat dude is always in the cut, almost low key trying to hide. Dude, uh, Envy, <laughs> you let these dudes finesse you into being the front man for the hustle. Envy got finessed. Envy was just being game goofy, man. They, they got him. They just finessed him into being the front guy. Yeah? Dude, Borton Button was trying to tell you something real. Anybody could see this shit and see it was a, it was a finesse just by the shady looking dudes. Just the dudes involved. I mean, when you look at those Envy videos and he's in them dilapidated houses, nothing about that looks legit. <laughs> Just everything about it looks shaky. Just the aesthetics of it looks shaky, man. And Envy is there. He's Envy standing there with these old shady niggas and Envy up there trying to be blinged out with skinny jeans on and a, a bag of money. With a, hey guys, I just got a, I just got some rent. <laughs> This DJ Envy, I just got some rent. This is envelope. This is, I made $50,000. You too can make $50,000, right, guys? And they're in the cut like, yeah, 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 yeah. Where are we going with that? Yes, guys, this is an envelope full of money, guys. <laughs> now, DJ Envy is running right here talking about he didn't get no money. Envy, there's videos of you, brother. There's videos of you running around here with envelopes of money. You got finessed, Envy. God damn. And I, again, I don't think Envy 
went into the whole thing trying to finesse. I really don't think any Envy was trying to finesse. I don't think Envy got finessed and he was game goofy and he let these people finesse him into being the front person. Now Envy is up here, he's explaining, I didn't make no money off these deals. I don't know what they talking about. I didn't make no money. But there's a whole bunch of videos of Envy with a pile of money <laughs> in a damn trap house. Nigga, we know a trap house when we see one. You're doing videos in trap houses with a bunch of money. Hey, guys, hey, come on down to my seminar, man. You, too, can get this business. You can get it popping right here. Look at all the money I made. Yeah. With a bunch of shady dudes who look like they just shank niggas in prison. Oh, envy. I'm looking at envy, 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 envy. Damn. Envy all trying to be street and shit. Envy, sit down, man. Envy is my guy, but sit your ass down. This ain't for you. You out here with some real heavyweights, man. They done finesse you, my nigga. They done finesse. No, Envy didn't know. Envy's out here. Yo, yo, yo. Envy up here looking like Malibu's fucking most wanted. Yo, yo, DJ Envy out here in the trap. Listen, we got a seminar, guys. You got a seminar? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yo, yo, doing all the fucking gestures. They finesse you, my nigga. Them niggas used you and finessed you. They finessed your ass, Envy. You fell for the con because you don't have... Yeah, your dad is a cop. You don't... You don't get involved with no street niggas, man. Damn. Don't get involved with no street niggas. You doing all of these gestures and they sitting in the back. You doing all you doing all the shit and they're sitting in the back. Like when shit goes down and they're gonna try to put it all on you. They're gonna try to put it all on Envy's ass. They're gonna try to put it all on Envy. Yeah, whenever I see dudes try to do the hip hop real estate shit, they're like, no. Hip hop real estate is always a finesse. Yo, 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 this DJ Envy, I'm right here. Listen, you too can own property like this. You can get 14 units and you too can get that money. You can drive uh, all types of fast cars and everything. Yo, 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 I got my partners over here. You know, they've been making money. We've been flipping houses. Yo, you can be just like DJ Envy. So you, look at all this money I got. Right now, I just collected a whole bunch of rent. You can collect rent too. You understand? Look, I got this unit. It's it's a trap house now, but look, we're gonna get a, a water bed over here. We <laughs> he's Envy's doing the light skin Umar hustle. <laughs> Envy's doing the light skin Umar like the school. Now the school over here. Now the room is raggedy, but we're gonna have a science lab. Now over here. Now, where this pile of dirt is, we're going to have a physical education room. And over here, where you see the light fixtures are broke, we're going to have a ballet class. So, when, when a nigga's standing in a trap house or some dilapidated building, talking about how fly it's going to be. Dude, come on. Envy, no. Charlemagne, I blame you, Charlemagne. Why didn't you talk to him, Charlemagne? Charlemagne knew better. I blame Charlemagne. Angela Lee, he got the hell on up out of there. That's probably why Angela Yee left. Angela Yee said, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm not going to be on nobody's paperwork. I think that's probably why Angela left. That's why Angela Lee Ye said, I ain't about to be a part of none of this shit. Charlemagne, you should have said something. Oh, man, you knew that Envy was game goofy. Man, y'all know good and well Envy ain't really about these streets like that. He didn't know. Envy is innocent. Look, Envy is innocent. I don't think Envy... Envy had any ill will. Envy just got finessed by some street cats and they 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 hollered at him, got at him, and 
and, and really made him stick his neck out of here and become the front person for their finesse. And I hope Envy don't get caught up, man. I hope he don't get caught up, man. But that that's horrible. But Envy is innocent, man. Envy is innocent. And again, this should be a lesson. Stay away from these street dudes if you ain't about that street business. If you ain't about that, man, stay away from it. Yeah? Man. Because, yeah, I don't want to see Envy go to jail. Envy is too light-skinned to go to jail and too square. I don't want to see him go to jail. They're going to tear that nigga Bucci Cat all up if he go to jail. We do not want to see Envy. Uh, we don't want to see because they... <laughs> They say black don't crack, but beige don't age. They're going to look at him as a snack. <laughs> Envy is going to be a snack in jail. <laughs> He's going to be DJ Redbone behind bars. We don't want Envy to go to no goddamn jail. He's going to be DJ Redbone. They're going to, oh, ooh, this nigga's exotic. Beige don't age. <laughs> Oh, they're going to shave his head and, and put some lipstick on him, and he's going to be walking around there looking like Amber Rose. I don't want Envy to go to no fucking jail. Free Envy. <laughs> I don't want Envy to go down, man. Well, they're going to do him all types of ways. He's going to get a conjugal visit from Dwight Howard. It's going to be a, he's going to be down bad. <laughs> I don't want to see Envy go to jail. Leave Envy alone. Free Envy. Shit. Man, man, man. <laughs> but listen. Listen. Man, we got everybody, man. We got to get involved with the new film. Man, we got nine days left, man, to get our goal. We got nine days to reach our goal with this uh, movie. We need the family to get involved, family. We need y'all to get involved. We need everybody to get involved, ladies and gentlemen, because it's very important that we get the history out here. It's very important that we tell the truth. It's very important that we let people know what our history is and we gatekeep and we guard our history, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important that we guard and gatekeep our history because, boy, they're coming at us with all types of lies. They keep trying to double down on these lies as far as um, what we created, as far as hip-hop. And it's up to us ladies and gentlemen, to counter those lies.